This quick guide tutorial from ExoCAD shows the attachment feature in the free forming mode on three sample cases. For the first case, I have used the telescopic crown restoration type to design a full contour crown with a milled lingual. Another tutorial will demonstrate how such a design can be achieved. Click on the attachment tab to access the attachment feature. The attachment feature is available in each free forming step. I use it in the last freeform merged restoration step as only there an additional feature is available which I will show later in this video. By default, attachments will be added. You can start by choosing an attachment from the libraries provided by our partners. Let us choose one of ExoCAD's generic libraries and the desired type. Now click on the restoration to add the selected part to the restoration. Hold the left mouse button to drag the attachment. And click the rotate button to rotate it along the insertion axis. Note, you might also stay in the move mode and rotate the part using control and left mouse button. Scaling is also possible, but only for a few chosen attachments. As for most attachments, the geometry shall not be changed. By default, the attachments are parallel to the telescope's insertion direction. The direction can also be set to the view, or orthogonal to the surface. The attachment insertion axis can also be defined within the right mouse context menu. An additional option called crown bottom will set the attachment direction parallel to the crown insertion direction. Or you may choose again to parallelize it to the telescope insertion. Let's switch to the second sample case. When designing implant restorations, there are some more insertion access options. For single abutments, click on the top button to parallelize attachments to the secondary coping insertion. Or click on the view button to parallelize it to the view axis. Or click on the surface button for an axis orthogonal to the surface. Later in this tutorial, I will show you in more detail how to design such an anti-rotation protection. The additional insertion direction options for implant restorations can be found in the right mouse context menu. Right-click on the implant you want to parallelize the attachment to. Select Parallelize to Library Geometry to use the implant direction of Tooth 16. Select Parallelize to Screw Channel to use the screw channel's axis of tooth 16 if it is not the same as for the implant. Let's do the same for implant 14. Parallelize to the implant. Or to the screw channel. Or select the special option, Align Attachment to Implant, to align the attachment to the implant platform and direction. All these options open up unexpected possibilities for experienced users. Try the same on Implant 16. Be careful, the exact behavior depends on both the implant library and the attachment library. The implant library should have its coordinate system origin located at the center of the implant platform, and the attachment library should be in the same coordinate system. Let us come back to our initial case. Finalize attachment position and size. Check the cut on gingiva box if you desire to adapt the attachment to the gingiva. Choose the desired distance. Positive values create a gap, 
while negative values lead to a specified intersection. When clicking the Apply button, the attachment will be adapted to the gingiva and merged with the restoration. Once it has been merged, you can switch to the free-forming mode and do some smoothing if required. Be careful, you might destroy the attachment geometry. Let's try another option in the attachment feature. In addition to the provided libraries, you have the possibility to create attachments yourself with a parametric design feature. In this feature, you can extrude or rotate a bench of profiles. We start by extruding a profile. Select the desired cross-section from the drop-down box in the Profiles window. The chosen profile will be extruded along the View axis. Users of the bar module are familiar with this window. Let's choose a half round for example. Each profile can be adjusted and designed with a couple of parameters. If you would like to use the adjusted profile again, your profile can be saved, named, and loaded again later. Saving your profile will make it accessible in the pull-down for future use. With a click, you can add the designed attachment to the restoration. For its placement, hold the left mouse button to drag. Unless you click Apply, you may still change the attachment design, even if it has already been placed. Click the Apply button when you're happy with the design and placement of the attachment. As already been said, Freeforming or smoothing is allowed once you've clicked the Apply button and the parts have been merged. There's another very useful function in the Freeform Attachment Processor called Remove. This tool allows you to Boolean operations. It enables you to remove or cut out specified geometries from the restoration part. Additionally, I'd like to show you the second parametric design option called Rotation. This design function will rotate the profile around its own axis. The same profiles are available as for the parametric extrusion. I like to choose the rectangle width profile to create a notch on the milled lingual surface as it provides a rounding on the bottom of the profile. Increase the height to design a parallel profile. Define the width. For a perfect rounding, choose a radius value half as large as the width. Place the attachment exactly on the area where you want to cut out this part.
Click on the Apply button to apply the removal. Note, the minimum thickness cannot be violated. If the part intersects with the minimum thickness, the minimum thickness might refill parts of the notch. To avoid intersections between attachment and minimum thickness, you might set a transparency for the mesh. and uncover the minimum thickness. Now you can improve the placement of the part to be removed. Let's switch back again to the implant sample case. The Remove feature might also be used in the same way to create an anti-rotational support for crowns on abutments. Either you create an internal lock Or with the parametric extrusion design, you create a flat part on the abutment. That's the best way to design an anti-rotational protection. Let's switch back to our initial case. Among the provided libraries in the parametric design, you'll find an addition to the possibility to import your own STL file. To do this, click on Load from File in the Library drop-down box and select the file on your hard disk. Certainly, important parts can also be added or removed. I have chosen a screw to remove as I want to create a thread. If your own part is orientated parallel to the z-axis, you may set its direction parallel to the telescope direction by using the top button. Click on Apply to create the thread. A special feature allows you now to penetrate the minimum thickness and to create, for example, a hole in the crown. This feature is called Allow Any Changes and is not enabled in all ExoCAD installations. Please contact your provider support to get it enabled. As already mentioned in the beginning, this feature is only accessible in the last freeform merged restoration step. Note, for all kinds of attachments, you are allowed to freeform the restoration, even if the attachment has been placed but not yet applied. Once you have finished the modifications on the restoration in the freeform mode, you may go back to the attachment function in order to apply and merge it. 
and here you can see the hole we have created. The Allow Any Changes feature offers unexpected possibilities, as you can create, for instance, together with the Align to Implant Insertion option, another screw channel in a coping on the abutment. Let's undo these operations, as they have just been an example for this feature. Let's switch to the third sample case and see how the Allow Any Changes feature might also be used to prepare cavities for the friction parts on secondary telescopic crowns. Select Remove in the Attachment tab. Choose the Library and Type, and activate the option Allow Any Changes. I have already placed the part and the design has already been done. Click on the Apply button to start the operation. The Boolean operation will even be computed through the crown border. Thank you for watching this video.